Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. And if you're new to my channel, I'm Patty and on Mondays I make characters. Today I'm going to bring you this little Harry Potter inspired gnome with his little sorting hat, his little wand. If you want to know how to make this little guy, stick around. i show you how. And if you just want to make the little mini sorting hat, it's going to be towards the end of the video. All right, let's get started and be sure and give me a like. Thanks for watching. Okay, go ahead and cut out your pattern pieces and then we're going to start assembling it. I'm just going to put the circle down onto the bottom of my styrofoam comb. And just to kind of seal it up so it is complete and you don't see the styrofoam comb. Just kind of make sure it goes up the side a little bit just so it is completely sealed in. And this is for his shirt. And then for the front part of the shirt, we're going to come down, overhang about a half an inch on the bottom. And we're going to come down around two and a half inches from the top of the cone and just glue that down. Just kind of bend that back and glue it in. And then go ahead and glue down the sides as well, just to make sure that it is secure onto the cone. Okay, next I just cut a piece of felt that's about 3 8 inches wide. And I'm just going to go along the edge of the bottom of the jacket. But I'm going to come up about a half an inch from the bottom to start gluing that down. Okay, next we're going to make the cape and we're going to cut two of these pattern pieces out on the fold of the fabric. And we're using two of them so that we have it, it's like a lined um, cape. And we're just going to put both of our pieces on top of each other and we are just going to go ahead and glue all the way around them. Okay, next you're going to come down one and a half inches from the top and cut it straight across the top. And then we're going to turn it right side out. Then after you get it right side out, you're going to go ahead and um, shape it. Go ahead and put something down inside of it just to kind of poke out the um, sides just to get it completely smoothed out. And then I'm going to take it and I'm going to iron it. Now you don't want to iron it on a high heat, but just enough to give it a nice seam edge. Next, I'm going to cut two pieces of wire at five inches in length each, and this is going to be for the hands. And I'm going to use the hand mold to go ahead and fill up the cavities with my oven baked clay. Start off by just taking little pieces, rolling them up for the fingers, and putting them into the cavity for the fingers, as well as the palm area, until you get it completely filled in. And then once you get it completely filled in, you can start just rubbing it with your finger until you can see the shape of the hand and not the um, clay over the top of it. Go ahead and remove your hand and do the same thing with the other hand. Next, we're going to make a wand. I'm just cutting a piece of wire that I want about the si size of a wand. I put it in his hand to kind of give it sized up. And I'm just going to cover it with some clay. And then I'm just going to roll it out so that it has a pointy part on the top part. And it'll go into his hand. You don't want it too long. But um, you definitely want to put the wire so it does stay together. And then I'm just going to go ahead and put wire into the back of each hand as far up as I can go in those and then I'm going to bend my fingers over so it'll hold the wand and then bake them at 275 for 20 minutes. Next I'm going to take two quarter inch dowel sticks. I'm going to sharpen them and I'm just going to run them up into these corks. Now you'll feel that it tightens up pretty fast. You didn't take a lot of effort on this. Just kind of twist them until you get them in there as far as you can get them in there. And then we're going to cut them off at four inches each. And this is going to be for his legs. And then I'm just going to use the little tennis shoes for his shoes. And I'll give you the link where I got those in the description below. Okay, next I'm going to add some weight to the toes of his shoes by just placing some 5 16 inch nuts into the front part of each shoe. And I'm using three nuts per shoe. I don't really think after I got done you need three, two would be plenty. And then go ahead and put your cork down in there. 
and then we're going to fill the rest of the cavity up with um, some stuffing just so that it does fill up the shoes a lot better. Okay, then I'm going to take um, some hot glue. I'm just going to pull the cork forward and I'm just going to glue right down the back a little bit. Okay, then we're just going to tie his shoes in a bow. Okay, next I'm going to take some quilt batting and I'm just going to um, run it along the top of it, the shoe, just to kind of fatten up the leg a little bit. You come down about uh, one inch from the very top and just go ahead and wrap that around just to kind of fill it in. You just want to make sure that when he puts his, the pants on his legs, they do stand out and they're not just sucked up there into the, into the um, stick and real skinny. Just adds a little bit of meat to his body. And then do the same thing for the opposite leg. And that's probably about a, um, I'm going to say maybe a four by two inch piece of um, quilt batting. Next for the pants, we're taking a three and a half by eight and a half piece of fabric and we're going to hem up the eight and a half inch side as well as one of the three and a half inch sides. And then we're just kind of going to roll it a little bit just to kind of get it around his leg. But you don't want it so tight because you want to make sure that it covers up the very top part of his shoe. And then go ahead and glue down that one side. And then we'll pull this around to the back here in a minute. But just go ahead and glue it right there. And then you can turn the seam to the back. Okay, then once you get it straight in the back, we're going to go ahead and glue up underneath the pant leg and glue it to the cork. Just kind of spot gluing it. You don't have to put a lot of glue. And then do the, exactly the same thing with the other shoe. Okay, next we're just going to take some scissors and we're going to cut slits all the way down until you get to the top part of that quilt batting. And then go ahead and trim all the excess off. We just need enough to go over the top part of it just to close that in. And just kind of make sure that you get it completely closed in where you don't see any of that quilt batting on there. And then do the same thing with the other shoe or the other leg. We're going to take a quarter inch dowel stick, sharpen it, and we're just going to poke two holes in the bottom to put the legs in. Just kind of space them in the center part of that um, styrofoam cone and space them out to where they are, are side by side. Make sure you get some balance on it really good, exactly where you want it. Then we're going to go ahead and pull the legs back out and we're going to glue them in. So we want to put a little bit of hot glue inside the styrofoam cone, a little bit of hot glue on top of the leg, and then go ahead and put that in. And then do the same thing with the other leg. Just make sure he's standing up straight. Okay, next we're just going to attach the cape. We're just going to come down an inch and a half on the very tip top. And that's where we're going to attach the cape at. So just go ahead and um, glue a little bit on each side and then we'll start wrapping it on around the um, back part. And then we're going to run it down the side on the inside part of where his shirt ends on both sides just to kind of hold it all together. Next, we're going to make the sleeves. Go ahead and cut your pattern pieces out and go ahead and fold the triangle over and we're going to glue all the way straight up. Next, we're going to make the sleeves for his arms. We're taking a two and three quarter inch by three and three quarter inch piece of fabric and we are going to hem up the long end and one short end. And this is going to wrap around his arms so that when you have the cape on him, you don't see the wires. Okay, next I'm just going to take them, I'm just going to roll them up, and then I'm going to go ahead and glue off one side. And then just stick the wire down in there and go ahead and just glue it to his hand. And then we're going to glue the opposite side. We're going to close it up at the other end and uh, just go ahead and glue it off as well. And then do the same thing with the other hand. 
Okay, next go ahead and clip off the ends of each of the ones, the um, little sleeves for the jacket. And then we're going to just fold up the edges of them on the bottom and hem them up before we turn them right side out. And you just need to hold, um, hold them up maybe about a quarter of an inch at the most. Okay, next just turn them right side out and then just go ahead and slide them right up over the top of that arm. Just kind of pull them down over the top of the hand. Okay, and then just go ahead and glue it at the top part of that wire. Just glue it to the wire kind of tight. Just kind of make sure that they are straight and they're even. Okay, next we're just going to come down three inches from the top part of that cone. Just poke a hole into the side to attach the arm. And then just bend it over because we're going to push it all the way in to even where some of the black part is inside of the, of the arm. And do exactly the same thing for the opposite side. Three inches down, go ahead and poke your hole through there and then attach it. Just make sure that your arms are the same length. If you had to play with them a little bit first just to make sure that you want to make sure that they are exactly the same length. Go ahead and pull them back out and go ahead and put some glue inside there and glue it in. Just make sure that the black um, fabric at the top goes all the way into the arm. And do the same thing with the other arm. I'm going to make the beard. I'm just taking a two inch by two and a quarter inch piece of um, faux fur. And then I'm just going to trim around the edge in a U shape around the bottom. This was just a scrap piece that I already had. And then go ahead and clean all the excess fur off. Okay, next I'm going to come down three and a half inches from the top of the cone, and that's where I'm going to attach my beard. Just take a little hot glue, put it on the back, and just attach it to right to where you just drew that line. For the hat, you're going to cut out two of these pattern pieces, and we're going to hook them together. And just going to start right there in that line where that groove is. And that's where you're going to start gluing it. So hold it there until you get it dried. And then we're just going to go ahead and run it up to the top and glue that together. Now you don't have to worry so much about it being completely sealed in at the top. It's okay if you don't. And don't worry so much if you get some glue on it because we are going to spray paint this when we're done. And next I'm just going to take a pipe cleaner, fold it in half, and then I'm going to fold it about a half over there as well. And then I'm just going to put a little bit of glue at the top and go ahead and glue it right into that hat all the way to the tip. And then I'm going to glue the base down just at the very bottom. Then I'm going to go ahead and make my other um, hat exactly the same way as I just made the last one. And then just go ahead and fold the top part over there on the one that you have the pipe cleaner in. Okay, next we're just going to go ahead and attach the other one inside of that one. And we're going to come down two inches and we're just going to put a spot of glue right in the center. Make sure that your lines match up in the back. And then just go ahead and put one little dot of glue right in the center there. Okay, then we're going to go ahead and put a spot of glue in the back as well. And then we're going to start stretching open the eyes a little bit. And just right at the very, very front, just kind of pull them apart a little bit just to kind of open them up a little bit. And then we're going to glue around the back side to glue those in and leave the front open. So it kind of looks like a little hood sticking out there. And do the same thing on the other side. Just make sure that they are even. Okay, next I'm going to take a piece of um, craft foam that's one and a quarter by four and three quarter. Now it looks bigger in the picture here than what I um, have in my hand, but I, I'm giving you the correct size. Go ahead and fold it in half and glue it in because this piece here was a little bit too big once I put it on there. So I came back in and I made a smaller one to put in its place. So go by the measurement that I just gave you and then we're going to go ahead and pull it around to the back and glue it together. Then we're going to start shaping it into the shape of a mouth. Kind of pull the top part up a little bit, almost like a little duck. And then we're just going to glue it right to the front. And go ahead and put your styrofoam cone in there just to kind of give it some shape so that when you glue it down, you can get the roundness on it. Because you do want to make sure that the sides go, or that, are, that are glued down all the way. Just kind of pull it around there and make sure that the sides are glued secured. 
Next for the brim, we're going to just take it in our hand and we're just going to kind of pull it apart to kind of give it a little bit of a wavy look to it. And we're going to do the same thing on the inside. You're going to have to stretch it open a little bit to get it over there. But once you put it around there, you'll see how much you need to stretch it. Just kind of take it a little slow and just do little pulls at a time. Don't just yank on it. And then we're going to go ahead and um, attach it to our base. And what we're going to do is we're going to take a little, there's a quarter inch strip that you got to cut out as well. And you're going to go ahead and take it and glue it around the bottom so that this will hold this base in place. And then we're going to trim off the excess. And then go ahead and take your hat, pull it back, and then put a bead of glue all the way around the top part of that trim, and then glue that hat down. You don't have to go all the way around it, just kind of just get it spot glued in there. Okay, and then for the eyes, we're just going to fold them back about a quarter of an inch, and then we're going to glue them back. And then take it and spray paint it with some flat brown paint. Next, I'm just going to take some black paint and I'm just going to fill in underneath there to darken that up. And then I'm going to do the same thing in the, in the middle of the mouth area. And then I'm going to take a little cloth and I'm just going to kind of dab it into the black and kind of distress the rest of the hat. Okay, now we're going to go ahead and attach it. Just go ahead and um, take the hat off. I got out of the camera here a little bit, but you can see I'm just gluing to the top part of the cone and push that hat on down. And then we're just going to add a 15 millimeter half bead right up to the, on for the nose. Just right up to the top of that hat. Okay, next I just printed the little Gryffindor um, crest. I just went ahead and cut it out and I glued it to some um, black craft foam and I'm just going to attach that right to his uh, robe. Just kind of added a little extra touch. Okay, and there's the final product right there, a little Harry Potter inspired gnome. If you like these kind of videos, be sure to give me a like today and be sure and um, subscribe and ring the bell to be notified when I have a new video upload. I hope you really enjoyed the video today. I hope it inspired you to go out and make something amazing today. Thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it.